CloudFormation is the Amazon Web Service that allows you to model your AWS resources. And defining your infrastructure's code using CloudFormation can now be used to enable your threat modeling without having to perform additional effort to create separate diagrams. Using the Open Threat Model standard allows users to map their AWS resources defined within CloudFormation and create an architectural diagram within the Aries Risk platform. There are two endpoints within the API that allow them to do so. The first provides the ability to create a new Aries Risk project. And as the resources evolve, the second allows users to update the same project with any changes that may have been made. As you can see from the Iris Risk platform, we have one project threat model. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and create a new threat model based on our AWS infrastructure as defined within a CloudFormation file. So we're going to use Postman to run the API. Uh, and before we do so, uh, there are a couple of requirements when creating our threat models that we need to include, uh, which is a name and a unique reference ID or product ID. Uh, I'm using the same value for the two fields. And then obviously we need a cloud formation file. So here's one in true blue PFOP fashion that uh, I created earlier. Uh, and that's all we require. Um, we could add in an additional mapping file. Um, and that allows us to add any new uh, definitions that haven't been included in the default mappings provided by Iris Risk. And then we're good to go. Simply send. We get confirmation through Postman that the uh, project has been initiated. And as you can see in the platform, the project is being rendered and updated uh, in real time. And if we go into the diagram, we have our AWS infrastructure. As you can see, uh, we defined that it's running in a public cloud, AWS. Uh, it's got custom VPCs, private subnets, uh, and a variety of um, components deployed automatically. It's got uh, data flows, which are already annotated, just not showed in the UI. So we can hide them. So we're ready to go and start reviewing the threats associated with this infrastructure.